Hi guys, you're on VRM24.com channel and today we're going to assemble Xiaomi Redmi Note 11 Pro Plus 5G. First of all, we need to remove the card tray. To do this, we use a special tool inserted into the hole and carefully push out the card tray. If the tray doesn't come out well, we can additionally use tweezers. Then we need to heat the surface of the back cover to a temperature of approximately 70 degrees Celsius or 160 degrees Fahrenheit. For this we use a heating mat, you can use a hair dryer. And after 5 to 7 minutes we can move on to detaching the back cover. To do this we first use a thin plastic film inserted into the gap between the back cover and the middle cover and carefully go over the edge, cutting off the adhesive base. As always, we need to be careful in the camera area so we don't accidentally damage the lenses. As we can see, we have nothing presented on the back cover. After that, we move on to removing the screws on the top. For this, we use a 1.5 mm Phillips screwdriver or a Philips hash trio. Please note that some screws are different, so it is better to place them on a special surface in a certain order, so that we don't confuse anything when we're assembling. If the screws are not coming out well, we can use a magnetizer. If the screws get stuck, we can use tweezers. And we remove the top cover where the antenna tracks and contact pads are located. Then, with a non-metallic tool, we disconnect the two battery connectors. And we move on to unscrewing the screws in the bottom part. For this, we also use a 1.5 mm Phillips screwdriver or a Phillips hash trio. It looks like all the screws at the bottom are the same, but we recommend placing them separately from the previous ones. After that, we detach the cover, the cover that hides the speaker and the subboard. After that, we disconnect the interboard cable connector, disconnect the second interboard cable connector, disconnect the connector of the display cable, and disconnect the coaxial cable, and release the cable itself so that it doesn't get in our way. We can also disconnect the connector of the second coaxial cable and remove the small antenna board to the side. Now we can detach the subboard. As always, we find the right place where we can carefully hook, lift and remove the subboard. It is best to bend the cables aside so that they don't get in our way and prevent us from removing the subboard. On the subboard we have a charging port a microphone and card connector on the back side. And in the display frame we have a vibration motor and a loudspeaker. Then we move on to disconnecting the connectors on the motherboard. First we disconnect the two connectors of the coaxial cables. We have to be really careful not to accidentally damage the coaxial cables or the connectors on the motherboard. Then we disconnect the interboard cable connector, disconnect the second interboard cable connector, disconnect the display cable connector, disconnect the side buttons or fingerprint sensor cable connector. And we can detach the front camera. Carefully hook the edge, try to detach. We need to be extra careful because the front camera is taped to the display frame. After that, we detach the rear cameras. We have rear cameras taped to the motherboard. We need to be careful when detaching the cameras so as not to accidentally damage the cables or not to damage the lenses. Then we carefully remove the second rear camera and put it aside. We will detach the large rear camera later. Next, we move on to detaching the motherboard. As always, we need to find the right place where we can gently pry, lift and remove the motherboard. It is of course best for us to turn the cables and connectors aside so they don't 
interfere with us. We also need to note that the motherboard on the inside may be held in place by the thermal test. So we carefully lift the motherboard, bend the cables and connectors away so they don't interfere with us and try to remove the motherboard. And we find the right place where we can pry it up. Pry it up, lift it up and try to take it out. We don't need to hurry, we don't need to force it so we don't accidentally damage anything. Okay, we took out the motherboard. On the back side we see the thermal pass is applied and now we can detach the rear camera. First we need to remove the bracket that holds the connector. Take the bracket aside and now we can disconnect the connector and carefully remove the larger camera. So we put the rear camera aside, remove the motherboard and move on to detaching the battery. Traditionally for the Xiaomi model we have brown tabs. For this model we have two brown tabs on one side, two on the other. On the tabs we have a description in what sequence and which one of the tabs we should pull up. We read the description accordingly and pull the tab that is on the edge upwards. We repeat the same process for the second pair of tabs on the other side. We also wrap all the tabs that are attached to the battery, pull them to the side and gently pull the tab that is located on the edge upwards, thus detaching the battery. Ok, we remove the battery and we can see under the battery we have a transparent protective coating which protects the interboard cables. So this is the end of our assembly, thank you guys for watching and see you around or in the new videos. Ok guys, now we're done, thank you for watching, if you like what we do, please consider subscribing to our YouTube channel, read our articles on our website, take care of yourself and until next video.